A research project began this spring to investigate the seasonal travels of one of Wyoming's rarest breeding duck species. Over the past year, Wyoming Game and Fish non-game biologist Susan Patla worked with biologists from Environment Canada, the Biodiversity Research Institute, Grand Teton National Park, and Game and Fish waterfowl biologist Nate Huck in planning, trapping, and surgically implanting two male harlequin ducks with GPS transmitters that will provide the first information on the timing and routes of harlequin migration from their nesting areas in Wyoming to their coastal wintering areas. In. This information, also being collected at other sites in western North America, will help determine the risks migrating and wintering harlequins face, where the ducks go after they leave their breeding streams, and what future management may be needed. While the males received the transmitters, the female harlequin of each pair was fitted with a geolocator leg band that will provide a less precise method of collecting location data. Genetic samples were also collected, which will allow biologists to determine if the ducks in Wyoming are distinct from other western breeding populations or if mixture is occurring between breeding populations. North America has two different harlequin populations. A small eastern contingent breeds in Canada and winters on the New England coast. Pacific harlequins winter along coastlines from the Aleutian Island chain off Alaska down to California. The ducks then go inland for breeding as far as Wyoming, which is the farthest eastern breeding extension of the Pacific coast population. Funding for the study was provided by the Jackson-based nonprofit Meg and Burt Rains Wildlife Fund. Harlequins are one of the rarest breeding birds in the state. Monitoring surveys from 2003 estimate approximately 70 nesting pairs occur in Wyoming. The Swiftwater Mountain streams they prefer in northwest Wyoming provide abundant insect prey, which harlequins feed almost exclusively on. Harlequins are considered a species of greatest conservation need in Wyoming. This study will provide baseline data so researchers can develop strategies to manage for the long-term viability of this species in Wyoming. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.